Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing a budget guitar that I've wanted to get my hands on for a very long time. Let's jump straight in and check it out. All right, you guys, let's not mess about. Let's find out what's in the gig bag. And I got to say, this gig bag is actually really, really nice. Here we go. Let's open it up. All right, you guys, you ready? Here is the first look. <laughs> this thing looks excellent. Okay, so let's jump in and check this thing out. So what exactly is this guitar and why am I excited to try it out? Well, one big reason. This guitar was made by Sire. And as you can see, this is the Sire S3. Now, if you guys remember, the S7 is a super popular guitar. One of the best mid-range guitars out there to the point that after launching two years ago, they're still really hard to find. The S7s are, you know, amazing instruments. So this is the S3. This is the more affordable baby brother. And I'm excited to see, well, if it's as good as the original. Right, now the S7 retails for between $600 and $650. Like I said, beautiful mid-range guitar. Now the S3 retails for $399. So I have not tuned this up. I haven't played a note on it. I haven't plugged it in. We're going to do all of that together and we're going to see, yeah, what this guitar is like. So let's take a look at uh, some of the quick features, then we'll plug it in and take a listen. All right, you guys, now it's time for the quick specs. Here we go. On the backside, we've got a set of basic tuning machines. No lockers on this. The S7 gets the lockers. The S3, basic tuning machines. So we'll use them and, uh, yeah, get our first impressions on those. We've got a maple neck. Nice satin finish on this one, too. Very smooth. Nice straight grain, I've got to say, too. Really, really nice. So we've got a maple neck. Beautiful, classic neck profile. Nice and rounded. Nice and smooth. On the front side, we've got rosewood. So, maple, rosewood, as it should be. That's great. We even have a bone nut. That's a really nice feature and some gloss on the headstock too. So having the bone nut though, that's important, especially if you wanna use the trim. We'll talk about that in a second. The body, well, this is actually mahogany. So if you've ever wanted an S-type guitar, but something a little different, well, we've got mahogany here and check out those contours. Love that they kept those from the S7 and brought them to the S3. Now the pickups are made by Sire, so that's awesome. They didn't just grab some off-brand pickups and slap them in this model and call it good. So we get Sire pickups and uh, from the S7, very, very good pickups. We'll listen to them in a second. Five-way switch, volume and tone. Now I think I'm gonna take off the pick guard here, see if I can peek under and see if we have full-size pots. As I mentioned, of course, this is the S3, the baby brother. So we'll see if we've got small-size pots or if we have the full-size. Uh, the trim is excellent. Two-point trim, pop-in bar with the set screw. So this is not a budget trim on a budget guitar. This is an excellent feature, so love to see that. And I think on the back, we'll maybe remove this and check out you know, how thick the block is and what it looks like there as well. All right, you guys, so I've removed the bottom half of the screws, and I'm hoping I can just tip up the guard and see what's underneath. I have not looked, so let's do that together. And uh, let's see. I can't see either. I'm just looking at my monitor. So let's tip this forward. Oh, dude, full-size pots. Fantastic. Oh, that's great. I was seriously expecting dime-sized pots there, but we have full-size pots. And let me take a look at the switch. I wasn't paying attention to that. Let's see if I can get that in the shot. All right, well, there you go. That's a pleasant surprise. So yeah, that's really great. Let's flip it over and check out the back of the trim. Next up, let's look at the backside of the trim system. Now, I don't know if manufacturers like it or not when I look inside the guitars, but hey, that's just the way I roll and do my reviews. So let's take a look at some of the details. Now, looks like a pretty typical S-style, you know, trim system. The block does look really nice, especially for an affordable budget guitar. That looks like a solid steel block. Really nice, doesn't look like, you know, some sort of cheap forged <laughs> thing. It looks like a proper guitar. So that's really nice to see. Now specs are all fine and good and they give us a good snapshot of what a guitar could be like, but it's only a partial picture. The rest is down to playability and tone. Now, in terms of playability, the S7 series from Sire really made a name for itself in terms of the neck playability. Sire put so much effort into each guitar in getting the neck perfect. Now, jumping to the S3, well, we can't really expect that 
for $3.99, right? Like that would just be insane. Well, they've done it. <laughs> In between each fret is a rolled fingerboard edge. That's time consuming, you guys, and most high-end brands don't even do it. So I'll take some close-ups for you guys, but rolled fingerboard edges basically mean they take the sharp edge off in between each fret. It's like playing on a hundred-year-old guitar that's been completely broken in. It's a great feel, especially for people like me who like to mute with their thumb on the sixth string and mute the, the first string and second string and just like play the middle strings and stuff like that. So if you do a lot of muting and a lot of, you, you know, your hand over the neck, the rolled fingerboard edge with the satin neck is just perfection and I was not expecting it on this guitar and even looking at the fret ends they've done that same fret end treatment as the S7 I don't know how they've done it but they've brought it to the S3 that <laughs> so far uh, has made me very very happy and it's very unexpected so yeah having those rolled fingerboard edges and that fret end treatment it's not anything I've ever seen on a budget guitar before. So again, Sire is uh, committed to making sure the neck experience, which is obviously how musicians interact with the instrument, uh, they've made that and a focus on this guitar as well, which is really cool. All right, you guys, now it's time to take a listen to the S3. Let's plug it in and take a listen. All right, you guys, let's try plugging the S3 in for the very first time. I'm going to start in the neck, work my way to the bridge. I might even try the trem. I know budget guitars and trem systems, eh, they're kind of like mortal enemies. They do not get along. Uh, but this one looks really robust, so we'll try it. Uh, here we go, neck pickup. <laughs> All right, so let's try some basic chords like a D and an A and just see how out of tune I am here. You know what, still usably in tune. Uh, let's go to position four here. Now I'm in position two there, um, and I'm not sure how they split up the humbucker with the single coil, but it definitely gives you a little pop and snap, which is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that's surprising for, you know, a humbucker single single, which is my preferred, you know, pickup layup for a Strat because you can get some nice gain uh, out of a humbucker and no 60 cycle hum. You know, for a guitar in this price tier, this is going to be usable. You know, once I play this for, you know, two or three days, you know, keep tuning up my strings, keep using the tram, um, you know, maybe even add some, you know, pencil graphite into the nut slots, although it's a bone nut, so I might not have to. You know, I'm going to, I'm very confident I'm going to be able to use this tram um, and it feels amazing, like in terms of the accuracy of the tram, obviously I'm out of tune here, but like just how subtly you can use it. 
it feels like a high-end trim for sure. Um, very, very accurate. And of course, yeah, you just got the little set screw there so you can set the tension. Like I, you know, I like to have my bar where I just move it and it stays. Some people like to just have it, you know, like um, dangling and then you can just quickly grab it and then it'll fall down. So player's choice. So it's really cool that way. Um, and it's definitely gonna be usable. <laughs> So these are my initial thoughts on the Sire S7, having just unboxed it and played it for the first time. Now, normally at this point, I give you guys my final thoughts um, because I like to play on a guitar for about a month before I ever decide to put it on the channel so that, you know, I can give you guys uh, my insight on having lived with an instrument, not just like, you know, opened it up and given you my thoughts. I like to really live with an instrument before I ever put it on the channel. When it comes to unboxing videos, it's a little bit different. So here are my initial thoughts on this guitar. Um, <laughs> If you're in the market for an S-style guitar, I don't think there's a compelling reason to buy anything else. Like, this guitar is truly amazing, and I think Sire has uh, brought the key features of the S7 down to the, the S3. Uh, they've dropped things like the locking tuners, you save money there. The roasted maple neck, you save money there. Some of the gloss finishes, some of the flame tops and stuff like that, you save money there. But what they have brought to the S3 is good tuning machines. You know, I wasn't sure, I've never used the Sire budget tuning machines. These are great, really nice, like they don't feel like budget tuning machines, you know, lots of guitars, even in the mid-range, I might say, you know, the tuning machines could use an upgrade. Not here. These are really nice. Unless you want lockers, then definitely put in lockers, but you don't need to. Bone nut keeps everything moving smooth. Uh, the fretwork is, you know, something that just really sets it apart from anything else in the market. Those rolled fingerboard edges, the fret treatment, on a guitar for $399 is insane. Really, really good. Uh, weighs 7.5 pounds. Like I said, it's a mahogany body, but it's still 7.5 pounds is perfect for a Strat. Uh, you get all those great contours from the S7 on the S3 here. Uh, awesome trim system, full-size pots, great sounding pickups. So like I said, you know, if you're looking for an S-style guitar, if you don't have one, if you don't wanna spend a ton of money, you don't need to. Like this does not feel like an entry-level guitar at all. It feels like a mid-range guitar with sort of that straddling of like entry-level price but kind of verging on mid-range at $399. Um, I think it's well worth it for sure. So I'm a little worried that these are going to sell out instantly just like the S7 and become super hard to find um, but hopefully Sire can keep up with the demand because if you're looking for a budget guitar or like I said if you have a Les Paul and you're looking for a Strat, uh, It'd be hard to screw this up. This is an awesome guitar. And I'm not sure, like I said, I can't think of a compelling reason why to like to buy a legacy brand. Like, you know, this kills on every Squire that I've ever played. Like this is an awesome instrument. So I don't want to gush too much because I just opened it up, but I'm super happy with the neck, very happy with the pickups, very happy with the trem system, very happy with the electronics. Um, like I said, mid-range features, like player series features for $3.99. Hmm. It's good. So anyway, uh, yeah, I'll have to do a follow-up in a few months, but initial thoughts is awesome instrument. So stay tuned to the channel. Next week, I'm going to be looking at the Sire T3, which is the budget version of their T-style guitar. Fingers crossed it's just as good as the S3. Uh, we'll unbox that and take a listen to that uh, next week. So stay tuned to the channel. Other than that, I'll link to the guitar down in the video description below, along with all the gear I use. You can check that out if you want pricing and all that kind of stuff. Other than that, have yourself a great week. Take care.